uh, welcome, folks. Um, March 20th, yeah. So, you know, if you just listen to that uh, program, folks, that was Dave's last program, unfortunately. Um, and I'm just going to kind of go through, uh, you know, when I met him, uh, what he's meant to all of us. Uh, we, we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to put a full show together. Uh, first off, I want to thank all the listeners. I want to thank all the hosts. Uh, we've got a huge amount of emails. Um, you know, it, what happened, folks, is that unfortunately Dave passed away on St. Patrick's Day. Um, you know, but I, right, what this is going to be about right now is celebrating his life. Celebrating, you know, I met Dave. Dave came up to my um, office. And this is when, when I first got to Florida. This is the thing is wild is that, you know, you hear that ad over 20 years ago, but I was just doing the numbers. And actually, Dave came up to my office like 23 years ago. And we were on West Bay, and he had said to me, he, had, he was a listener, and he had just finished uh, a software, he worked for a software company, he just finished a software company. He says, he, he says, I think I can do something for you. I says, oh, yeah, what can you do for me? He says, well, you do this volume deal, and, you know, I'd like to, you know, work with you. I said, this is great, man, do you know what I mean? So I came in, that's how, that's how it started. Um, so he's been with TFNN for a long time. He's had a show, I think, for 15 years. But behind the scenes, he's been there for the whole, well, for 23 years. Um, great guy, uh, liked to sail. He sailed a lot when we first met him. Uh, had a couple schnauzers, uh, loved his dogs, um, you know. And it, what happened, unfortunately, this, this is the thing that, you know, you know, you know, I've had the saying, yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here, what are you doing right now? Well. It's, it's important that we all understand that right now. And when I say right now, I really, I, to understand, if you get an answer from someone and you don't like that answer, you know, fight for that answer. Because I suspect Dave fought for this answer. Because when I talked to his niece, what ended up happening is that um, he never misses uh, a news, he doesn't miss anything. You know what I mean? If he's gonna take off, we know it like three weeks ahead of time. Uh, so what ended up happening is that he didn't have his newsletter on the 15th. No, on the 15th? Or the 16th. Uh, it was last Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday, rather. And as soon as that happened, Tommy knew the thoughts was something wrong. He sent the cops to his house. The cops, you know, there was a note in the door that said, uh, you know, I'm walking to your dogs, Dave. And the cop just says, well, listen, everything looks all right. Uh, then that just didn't seem right either. So then Tommy sent Jacob to his house, and we left a note at his house. Um, bottom line, we get a call later that, yeah, he had a massive heart attack. Well, no, we get a call later that he, he just passed away. I talked to his niece over the weekend, and this, this is the real thing that is insane, folks, okay? So what happened is that Dave finished that show, the show you just watched. He finished the show. He went to the hospital because he wasn't feeling good and he felt that it was as hot, the niece told me, because all the way down his arm was all getting numb. Bottom line, they sent him home. As they sent him home, he unfortunately collapsed right when he's in his doorstep. You know, so there's something wrong with that whole deal. But I got that off, off his niece, they're, they're dealing with it, and, and it's not a, not a cool deal. Um, but, you know, as you just heard that show, uh, you know, he had a lot of great things going for him in a big way. Um, and listen, we're, you know, life is precious. Um, and, you know, it's like, wow. You know, it was great hearing his voice. I, I loved hearing his voice, you know. Um, and you got to cherish all of that, uh, you know, because the bottom line is, is that uh, life is fleeting, man. You know, yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Well, we're always going to cherish our man, Mr. Dave White. Uh, you know, Tommy and I, we're, we're going we're to, all of us, we're going to get a nice remembrance together from, from the listeners, from clips. And, you know, we'll have that out in the next uh, month, you know, month. No, I mean, the next couple of weeks. Okay. So, yeah. Just like that. That's the thing that's crazy, you know. So the, the other side of that too, and if you, if you, you know, I, I've been close enough to my my, my supervisor of uh, 
the construction company had a similar deal. And what happens if you do have heart problems, folks, what happens is that you got to go, go to the doctor and because the, it seems that if you make it through the first one, you're okay. You know, because there's so many things they can do now. But the, the, the deal is when you don't make it through the first one, that's the problem. Okay, so Dave, I'm sure you're up there and uh, getting us some option advice. So we'll see, see where these dailies and weeklies options uh, go and, you know, we miss you, man. Market-wise out here, folks, uh, Dow's up 285, Nasdaq's up 14, S&P's are up 25, gold, gold contracts up 1280, that's trading at 2003, you get silver up 21 cents, 2265, light sweet crude up 64 cents, 67.38, uh, notes and bonds. The 10-year note uh, down 24 ticks, trading 115. The 30-year down a point and a half, trading out at uh, 131.13. And then King Dollar. King Dollar right now is that's trading down 378 ticks at 103.331. I'm sure you heard over the weekend you got the UBS uh, is basically taking out Credit Suisse. And then, you know, you have these uh, AT1 bonds. Now, these AT1 bonds that you're hearing about, folks, okay, like PIMCO lost uh, $870 million on it, Invesco lost $370 million, BlackRock lost $113 million. What they're called, they're called hand grenade bonds. You know, I mean, when I started this business, I was, it was the bonds that got me going. These were hand grenade bonds. And what hand grenade bonds, that they knew that they could blow up and blow up in a monster way. And bottom line, they blew up. And the bonds, these bonds came into being after the um, fiasco in 2007, 2008. We don't have them in the United States. They, they, they did this a different way in Europe. But they were basically, if your tier one went under tier one, these bonds came into play and they literally were called hand grenade bonds in the business, okay? So, you know, they get a trillion dollar loss. Well, that's their problem, okay? Because the bottom line is that, you know, risk is very important. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrial is up right now, up 292. NASDAQ is up 16. S&P is up 26. We'll come right back.